Hello everyone, my name is John Meli and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today everyone, my subject will be a fountain. So I'm gonna make it an old fountain everyone. And yeah, it will be on this part here, roll of thirds. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications on my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials in the screen. You can see there are five limited colors or brushes that we're gonna all the things that we're gonna paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to do the underpainting first since you have, you already saw the, I, we, we already have here the sketch. Okay, so next step will be the underpainting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I'm going to do the underpainting using the 1.5 inch flat brush. Okay, so this will be my brush to use for the underpainting. Okay, so let's mix for some a little bit orange. Let's let's mix the browns. Uh, let let mix the the background a little bit orange like that. Hopefully, the background will be forest again. I want it to be forest, but I just have to make it an orange. Okay. So if you are painting with me, just follow and have fun. I have here the blue and the red to make some light reddish purple. So I just have to make some parts lighter on and solid. There. Okay, so I have here the blue, the yellow, and the raw umber. I'm going to like that. I want to focus on the On the fountain, everyone mostly in this painting. There, I have here the blue and the red, and then white. So as you can see everyone, I use a dark color for the sketch so that I can see clear as I can still see even if I cover it with other paints. So yeah, that's that you should do also. A bit of yellow here. Okay. A little bit of uh, greenish, okay? There. 
this is a smaller canvas this one it's it's um i think nine by twelve something like that so i use or oh, nine by uh, eight by ten i think nine by nine by twelve i'm using a smaller canvas now i have the row umber and then white let's paint here So I just have to cover everything here, everyone. Yeah. I don't want to see any colors there in the background. Okay, so. Okay, so we have now the underpainting. Okay, so some parts still wet. Yeah, I think I have to, I'll try to retouch this part, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'll try to add some details or shades on this uh, fountain first. I can proceed uh, later on to the background. Uh, to, to make clear on the fountain so yeah, i'll try to use this light brown color okay so just do like that My light source will be coming from the left side, okay? So my highlights will be from the left side. So if you're painting with me everyone, just follow what I'm doing. It's kind of noisy now in my area. Workers are everywhere. There. Blue umber and then yellow and then red and then white and then blue umber. So to like that everyone. At least we will know which part lights and which part are dark okay we have here okay 
Okay, so here. It's very nice seeing everyone in my place. Hopefully they will be quiet soon. Okay, so here I have the blue and the yellow. I have no choice of I have to finish my YouTube video. I don't know where, when we're gonna stop. This noise around me. Okay. So I have to slowly add some darks here. I have to add more details, okay? There. Okay. And then here also. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker here so that uh, this fountain here will become, will glow up, something like that, that you can see it clearly, that it's like, a, like a, it pops out to the, to the landscape, okay? Yeah, maybe I have to add a bit of uh, greenish, okay? And with red. Yellow. Okay, so I can add more greenish if you want. Then like that. Okay, so continue adding some darks on the background. Can add some trees here one or some bushes. Okay.
So we just have to continue adding some darker greens here. I want this urban to pop out. I want it to be contrast to the background. This uh, pine tree. Okay. I'll add a little bit dark here also. So just, just do the parts there. Okay, there you go. Yeah. We can add a bit of pretty here or so. You can make it a little bit of uh, blended everyone like soft like that and here everyone um, I just do like that here I, I, I want to make it maybe lighter to be good here on this part so I'll try the blue and the red to make some light purple with the white blue and the red I'll put yellow, yeah, and the red, and the white, okay. There. So make it lighter here, yeah, that. There. There. I think you can also add some light orange there, like it's hit by the sun. Okay. So I have here the yellow and the red. And the white. There. Like there's a yellow or yeah, yellowish plant here. A bit of light here. I want it to a little bit misty on this part of one. Just this part. Okay, so just to like that. Yeah, as you can see, uh, colors there are bright. I like how it turns the brightness there. It's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And then you can add a bit of a darker color darker a little bit greenish also can add some little bit of prunes
Yeah, and then we can start now adding some trees there. Yeah, those trees, everyone, will make it uh, work uh, good. So, row umber, and then white. Row umber, and then white. This one's a lighter color. There. So no so. Okay. At least I, I can see now a bit of details there. And then we can try a bit uh, darker color. Okay. Now, see here, everyone, to put more, more trees in the back. So as you can see everyone how simple this painting is. I just want to do it like that so that everyone can have it, can paint it, okay? Let's add a little bit of details on this using this brush, small brush. Blue, or then yellow, more blue. And then white. I'm using this small flat brush, everyone. Just a uh, tapping technique like that. I am using the small brush. Okay. Okay. And also this one here. Okay. Yeah, we can put some part parts are dark.
there is a light. Yes. Yeah. I have to put more lights, everyone. Go to yellow, and then not so much. I'm using the small flat brush like that. Okay, I'm using the small flat brush, everyone. Okay, so that's why I'm missing now. People working on our yards, everyone. And on the other houses. They're very noisy. Okay, so I just have to put some Okay, I'm using a small canvas today everyone This add also here Okay, I think uh, I'm just painting very easy uh, painting today, everyone. I think it's good for beginners. Yellow and the red, a uh, yellow and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, blue to make some light green with the white. So slowly, we have to add some details here. I will also put some like a palm, okay? Blue and the yellow. Okay. These are different types of plants also. Later one I'm gonna put flowers on this uh I'm gonna put flowers on this uh, garden. Okay, that's it. So that's looking good. Looking good background. 
and then I am going to add some details on the on the trees or branches so just remember a little bit of white yeah there Okay, as you can see, some branches there. I don't want to add so much light, everyone. I just want to put lights on a specific part, which is on the on this uh, fountain. Okay, I want I want that the fountain will be hit by a very good light there. So yeah, that's what will be my plan. Okay. So yeah, maybe here also I want that part will be hit by beautiful light. So I have here. The white, the yellow, and the red. there and then we can use some yellow some light here that hit on this yellow tree okay just I use the plain yellow everyone This, uh, you can see that there are this there's light there uh, on the distance so that we can balance everything there I want the light to be just in the center okay yeah well, looking good I, I don't want to zoom in zoom out everyone I just want to uh, do something like that I like to focus okay okay so i'm going to um i'm going to add some bricks here like that it's a like a it's a brick uh pavement everyone here middle middle bricks so just go over a little bit of white And I am using the small size flat brush. I think I'm gonna use the small brush. Yeah, I think we need to use the small brush as well. The, I'm gonna need to use the liner brush.
É. Add some more wicks. So the farther one, the smaller, okay? It doesn't have to be very detailed in the far. Okay. There, so it doesn't have to be all perfect. Okay. Some parts you can make it darker, everyone. Like, uh, it looked like an old uh, brick part. There. There. Okay. Yeah. 
You can see now some irregularities, everyone. There. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like now that uh, the entire crown made of uh, bricks and it looks good okay so i want now to create a light here everyone hitting this part here okay one these that hit on this part okay so i'm gonna use this yellow and then red and then white Red. There. There. I want it to be uh, to be brighter for one. Okay. And then we can use some. Lumber and then white. Also here. There. And then we can create dark, everyone. Who umber and red and the red and the blue. Put it here. Okay, we can use this direct or umbra.
there, okay. Yeah. So more of your A uh, little bit of light rumber and then add a little bit here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna use this brush, everyone, this small brush. I'm gonna use this white. I just want to exaggerate this part here. There. Okay. Red and yellow. Rumber and then white. Can put a bit of yellow shade on. Okay, and then we can use this uh, bigger brush, uh, one point five. I know, uh, medium sized flat brush. We can mix for blue, and then red. Make it reddish. By that one, and then white. Blue and uh, reddish violet. Okay. And then add some more white, add some more white, make it fluid everyone. And then let's place it here.
just glaze the brown glaze a little bit with a very bright or light uh, oh umber oh, I mean sorry uh light purples okay yeah so we can see now that it's much uh the lights are becoming visible okay visible there so you have now this uh, fountain okay so i like the colors there everyone so it's just a little bit of i check it also put a little, a little bit lights on the other part here i don't want that the light is just on the spot on the front one again okay so I can mix for a bit of lighter Also here. There. Okay, so at least this there's, there's a few lights there hitting on the peaks. Okay, so now let's put some fountain. Uh, with the burn, we have time with add here one in the center. Okay, on the fountain, everyone. First, we can mix for no, I think I'm gonna use this this brush, everyone. Small flat brush, blue and then red, more red, everyone, and then white. The color should be light purple. Yeah. So it's uh, from here to else down to here. Okay. Okay, that's a fountain. And here also. Make it so plain, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna use the small brush, the liner brush here. This one. Use the same color, and then here, everyone, you can put some like a like a uh, like a water that's splashing to going to the top. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs>
there. Okay, so now let's use some white. Let's use some plain pure white. So from here, Rowan, fall in here. There. You can add a bit of white uh, water, I mean. There, so the other part will be lighter. There, okay. Yeah. I thought it, it looks good right the colors looks good it's focused on the on that part only and I like it and in this one also Okay, so that's it. Yeah, but I'm not done it yet, everyone. <laughs> I have to add more details or maybe some flowers, plants there. Okay, I just have to retouch, adding some more greenish shell here. I'll be using this brush, everyone. This small flat brush. So I have here the blue and the yellow to make some greens and the red. So let's add some ever umber. Okay. Yeah. Here, one can add some. It's too light. Can 
add some plants also but make it a little bit darker Okay, and you can also put some light uh, highlights on the plants as well, light green and then white. So here, put more. Yeah. Yeah, so good. I like the simplicity of this one, everyone. Looks so pretty simple, but yet it's amazing. And also here. We can put some pink flowers. A little bit of flavor, especially here. There. And this one also. And then you can use some yellow to create another, another uh, flower over here, yeah. To create a bit of details on the background if you want, because it's too lonely for me. Also here. There. We can put a bit of greenish. A bit of greenish to make this part. There. Blue and the romber. There. Okay. I don't know what I need to add in one. This is just a very simple landscape painting for today, but I like the result. I like the lights there. It's very focused on the area which I want to 
of course, this this part. So yeah, I like the painting if one. Looks so simple, very small, and it's very good. I like it. And hopefully, uh, beginners can also do this. Actually, this is for beginners and a little bit advanced, but beginners will be happy with this one. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.